Hello and welcome to today's class. For today's class, we're looking at the Jupep June 2019 question, theory question 2, and we'll be trying to provide the solution to the questions. Question 2a here says, state Pascal's principle. 2b says, state two applications of surface tension and viscosity. So I'll take this one first before I come to 2bii. Alright, so let's look at Pascal's principle. So Pascal's principle states that the intensity of pressure at a point in a fluid at rest is equal in all directions. Alright, that is Pascal's principle. That the intensity of pressure at a point in a fluid at rest is equal in all directions. That is Pascal's principle. 2bi says state two application of surface tension. But I've given about five of them here. The first one is that insects are being able to walk on water due to the presence or action of surface tension. Another thing is that um, needle or the floating of a needle on the surface of water is caused by um, surface tension. The third one is that rainproof tent materials and also umbrellas um, where the surface tension of water Rainproof tent materials where the ten surface tension of water will bridge the pores in the tent materials. So we use surface tension in making tent materials and also things like umbrellas, raincoats, and ETC. So that's another application of surface tension. Also, also we use surface tension to do the clinical test for Joan dyes, right? Joan dyes is simply um, yellow skin caused by the build-up of um, some stuffs in the blood, right? So it's with the idea of surface tension that we use to test for um, Joan dice. You can make more research on what Joan dice mean. Finally, we have also used surface tension in making surface tension disinfectants, all right? Of course, <clears throat> disinfectants are actually solutions with low surface tension, all right? So most disinfectants are actually made with the idea of surface tension. So you can pick any two from there and answer. Finally, let's look at the application of viscosity. Now, oils with high viscosity are used as lubricants, all right? So, oils with high viscosity are used as lubricants. Also, blood circulation through the arteries and veins is dependent on the viscosity of fluids. And then finally, we can have that the high viscous liquid is used to damp the motion of some instruments and is used as brake oil in hydraulic brakes. All right, so these are like some of the applications of surface tension and viscosity so you can choose out any two from here and use all right let's go to let's go to the next thing there let's look at the next question there all right so the next question says the electromagnetic pointing vector s is defined as s equal to so i'm having this as s equal to e cross h we are e and h are the electric and magnetic fields respectively so they give us the value of e as the coordinates of e as 10.10 i plus 0 0.20 j plus 0 0.60 k and h being equal to 0 0.40 i plus 9.0 j plus 9.80 j plus 0 0.10 k find or calculate s all right so how do we do this this is a question of vectors how do we solve this so first things first I've already treated vectors and vectors cross product in my previous class. I'll leave a link to the class on vectors in the description of this video. So check the description of this video. You see a link to um, the class on vectors. But then let's solve this. So for this, we have that S, this, this um, S, the vector S, that's this one here, is equal to e vector e cross vector h so we have this so that means for us to get the value of s we simply need to do the do e cross h so how do we do e cross h the, the idea is very simple for e cross h or to get the cross product of vectors you need to express them in um matrix form all right express them in matrix form so expressing them in matrix form what do we have my first task would be to write i j and k so i'll have I, J, and I have I, J, and K. All right, for E, let me put the coordinates. So E is 10.10 10 .10 I. So for E, I have 
10.10i then I also have 0.20j so for j I have 0.2 or 0.20j for k that's this one here I have 0 0.6 so it becomes 0 0.6 of k for h I have for i there I have the coefficient of i for h as you can see here is 0 0.4 so I'm having 0.4i for j it's 9.8 that's 9.8j as you can see here for k is 0 0.1 so I have 0.1k all right so I've given this now in <coughs> matrix form my next step is to put plus minus plus that's the next step and that's now equal to so I have plus i so I'll take this first one here plus i right that becomes plus i okay let me write this um, write this here instead that's equal to so it's equal to plus i for i I'm going to close the column of i as well as the row so for i here I'll close the row of i as you can see here and also close the column of i as you can see here so what I have there is 0 0.2 you can see this 0 0.2 0 0.6 9.8 0.1 all right so let me take these ones down so when I close the column and row of J, what I had there, I'll use it to form a two by two matrix, right? Use it to form a two by two matrix. So if I do that, I will have, I would have, and we got 0 0.2. So it became, it becomes 0 0.2, 0 0.6, 9 9.8, and then, 0.1 I've gotten I I'll do the same thing for J my next one there's minus that's this minus J all right so I'll have minus J next so minus J into for J I'll see close the column as well as the row of J and see what I get so I'll simply come to J this is this one here I'll cover the row of J which is this I also cover the column of J which is this so I have 10.1 that's this 0 0.6 0 0.4 and 0 0.1 I'll use that to form a 2 by 2 matrix and that's equal to 10.1 so 10.1 0 0.6 0 0.4 and 0 0.1 finally I now have my plus K so I'm having plus K into for K, I'll also cover the row as well as the column. So for K, I'll cover row and cover column of K. All right. So cover the row of K. That's from K. Cover this row. This is the row of K. So it's off. Cover the column of K. That's this. So I'm left with 10.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.4, 9.8. All right. <clears throat> that becomes 10.1, 10.1. Point one. Um, next one was 0 0.2. That's this one here. So 0 0.2, 0 0.4, and then 9.8. All right. So with this now, I've reduced the matrix to a 2 by 2 matrix. So what's my next step? This is now equal to, I'm having plus i. So it becomes plus i into, you multiply the ones on your principal diagonal. That's this two here. Multiply, excuse me. That's multiply this element here, this two, and that becomes 0 0.2 times 0 0.1 becomes 0 0.2 times 0 0.1 minus this times this. That becomes 0 0.6 times 9.8. So that's for the first one. Next up is minus j. So I'll bring down minus j into don't forget this one here it's called your principal diagonal multiply these two first that becomes 10.1 10.1 multiplied by 0 0.1 minus multiply this one here it becomes 0 0.6 times 0 0.4 so 0 0.6 multiplying 0 0.4 and then finally I now have a plus k so lastly I have plus k so it becomes positive k so 
plus k into so this one first that's 10.1 multiplying 9.8 i'm having 10.1 times 9.8 minus multiply these two here becomes 0 0.2 times 0 0.4 0 0.2 times um, 0 0.4 so times 0 0.4 so i have this all right so if this is the case let's get each of them that's now equal to plus i into all right so let me let's take um 0 0.2 times 0 0.1 what do we get this is about 0 0.02 so this becomes 0 0.02 minus next up is 0 0.6 times 9.8 and that's about 5.88 so 5.88 minus j into 10.1 multiplies 0 0.1 that's about 1.01 .01, so 1.01 minus next thing i have there is 0 0.6 times 0 0.4 and that's about 0 0.24 so 0 0.24 then plus i have k so plus k into What's next in there? 10.1 times 9.8. And that's about 98.8. So I have that as 98.98, please. 98.98 minus 0 0.2 times 0 0.4. That's about 0 0.08. So that gives me 0 0.08. So I have this. All right. My next task, my next task obviously, will be to... Um, get this value and that's equal to i have plus i 0 0.02 minus 5.88 that gives you minus 5.86 minus j into 1.01 .01 minus 0 0.24 that's about 0 0.77 so 0. 77 plus k into 98.98 98.98 minus 0 0.08 and that's about 98.9 all right so i have this all right so at this point now my final step will just be um take the letters behind so plus i times minus this gives you minus 5.86i next up minus j times this gives you minus 0.77j finally i have plus so it becomes plus k times 98.9 .9 gives you 98.9k so this becomes the value of s uh, just to confirm that that was s we asked the point yeah so that becomes the value of s all right so s is now equal to this all right so this is how we solve this question so look at the we look at the other parts of question two in our next video